Good morning and welcome to Heartland Outdoor Living. This morning we're going to be bringing you a video about our hunting bow setup for 2018 hunting season. So let's get to the video. Good morning and thanks for tuning in to Heartland Outdoor Living. American Patriot left a comment on one of our recent videos and he was asking about our hunting setup for our bows, so I thought I'd go over that real quick. This is gonna be what we used this past season. The bow that we used is the Bear Bow. This is the Bear Super Grizzly, and the poundage on this is 45 pounds. In the state of Oklahoma, I believe it's uh, 40 pounds for big game. So just to err on the side of caution, we actually went ahead and hunted with the uh, 45 pound bow. Next on the list, is the hip quiver. The hip quiver, I've, I've just gotten used to using hip quivers even when I was hunting with uh, compound bows. I just, I don't like extra weight and nonsense on my bows and I feel like I shoot better without it. So I've always used a hip quiver. This is actually a Bateman hip quiver I bought probably back in the 80s and I don't think there you can even buy them anymore. But if, uh, if you can, I know there's a lot of people who still make hip quivers. This just happens to be the one that we use and the one I've had the most luck with. Our arrow setup for last year with the 45 pound bow is gonna be, we used the vintage, and these are 400 graphite shafts. And then the broadheads that we ended up using, we ended up using two different kinds, uh, mainly because I liked the Woodsman. The Woodsman is 150 grain. It's, it's a three blade made by Three Rivers. I believe it's made by Three Rivers anyways. It's uh, called the Woodsman, it's a three blade. It's kind of a traditional broadhead. And then what I ended up, what I could actually sharpen better, that I liked better. I, I just, personally, I couldn't get the Woodsman's to sharpen up very nicely. And I didn't like them as far as my ability to sharpen them. So I ended up going with a two blade that was easier to sharpen. Again, this is a 150 grain two blade. And this is a Stinger broadhead and it's actually easy to sharpen and I can also, you guys know we carry around the leather straps, but you can strop this on your pant leg up in the tree stand if, if, you, uh, if you needed to. But as you know, if you keep pulling these broadheads in and out, even the foam, it'll kind of dull them down a little bit so you can get that razor sharp. I mean, this one, yeah, it's still knocking hairs off and that's from last year. So that's basically our hunting setup that we used for 2018. We did switch it up a little bit this year and I haven't done a video on that bow that we're actually hunting with this year, but that is our hunting setup from 2018. Again, 90% of the time when we was out on public land, I used the climbing sticks and I used the um, tethered predator platform and then a saddle that I handmade myself. And we've done a video on our little saddle that we made. So if you want, you can check out that video. But Oh, I thought I would share this with you too. This leather belt, I've actually done a, I've got the video started. I haven't actually got it uploaded because I'm always running behind. But this is the belt that I use and this is strictly for the uh, hip quiver. And this belt was actually originally made for my lovely bride. And it's got a little Leatherman. It's got a deal to hold an ax. Uh, <laughs> it's got a, a deal to hold a flashlight. So you stole it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Just her, to be clear. her Bear Grylls knife, <laughs> which I actually kind of like. But I will say this. When you're walking in and out of the woods, when you got your little hip quiver on, and you got this knife right here, that's real handy when you're walking around in areas where you got a lot of hogs because uh, if you had to end up fighting a hog, I, I like the fact that I got a knife right here handy I can get to. And this uh, this thing holds in there great. You can actually hear it click in. Yeah, it's awesome. It's uh, And that's a leather sheet that I made for her. for her. And again, this is her, her belt, but I stole it. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess it's only fair. Right. <laughs> So that's the, uh, that's the hunting setup. That's just a quick view of the hunting setup. If you guys want, and what I'll probably end up doing is I'll go ahead and I'll kind of do another video for our, 
the stuff that we carry out in the field with us are kind of our mainstay stuff that we carry every time that we go out and I'll do that video but I would like to say thank you to American Patriot for the question that was a great question and again guys if you have a question about what we're doing out in the field or it doesn't even have to be with hunting whether it's uh, cooking videos or whatever because we've actually had some questions in the past about our smoker and the smoker setup and stuff as well but if you guys have any questions at all leave a comment down below if we have the time we'll actually do a video for you and give you a shout out i would like to again thank american patriot for the question and as always guys if you haven't subscribed i'd love to talk you into subscribing we're fixing to start a three-week hunt it's essentially going to be a three-week hunt i will have to come back a couple of times during during the three weeks about once a week i got to come back for a job that i just can't get out of that i'll have to come back to town and do a little bit of work but trying to get if you guys notice my hands are all stained up i'm trying to finish up some leather orders and i'm very messy with that stuff that's why angie's the one that normally does it she does a great job but anyhow guys we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes and may you have a blessed week and again a special thanks to american patriot for the question and i hope this helps answer your question thank you have a blessed week